Hey all, today I am going to show you how to do my theater build. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is just make a seven wide platform here. And then do it about three deep with the stone floor here. And then we're going to switch to the plaster floor. So there's seven total going out here. So the building itself is going to be a seven by seven building. All right, now we're going to put a door right here in the center. So three from either side. One, two, three. One, two, three, like that. And we are going to put a temporary curb stone down right on the, the link. So just, you know, keep the snapping on and just set it down. And then turn the snapping off. Rotate it four times. And then move it back from this point so that it's at the wall. So one, two, three. So that's right at the wall. And then use the opposite angle, which I think is four. Yep. And do that on the same side over here. So now you're just going to put these transparent item frames here on the edge of where these are. Right there and there, and you're actually going to pick them back up. And then inside the transparent frames, you're going to put the medieval curb stone and just change the Z axis to 90. And that moves it up like that, which will make kind of a nice little stone border for it. And now you can actually put the curbs, the actual curb stones you want down. So put it right there one two three four right there one two three four right there and just make sure that's a uh, nice and even with the wall and continue on to add in these wainscoting and you'll just set it on top at the lowest possible point that it'll actually allow you to place them. There, there, and there. And then we're going to put in just these plain plaster walls here. But we're going to make sure that the little piece that sticks out, which is this little kind of edge right here, it's not on the other one. We're going to make sure that that's on the inside. And just set it even with the the uh, stone, the curb stone there on both sides. And then we're going to use this little door, this little uh, glass door here to make kind of a ticket booth window. And we'll put that right there. For some reason, the doors and the walls don't actually sit completely flush with each other. So you will see that that little ledge is up there, but that's okay. It doesn't actually do anything terrible. And now I am going to add the next layer. Put this up here. Give me a little bit to work with. And I'm going to turn the snapping back on on these. Once again same deal as below putting the curb stones in with the z-axis at 90 degrees and now once again we are doing more curb stones and you want to do the front curb stone first just so you can see that the little piece of the curb stone kind of comes through with the uh the glass door frame below and that's the height you want it at and then you can do that on all sides so that they're even. And then more wainscoting again at the lowest possible point that it'll go. And now we're going to put the walls in on this one. So once again, oop, making sure that that little edge piece is inside. We will place it and it will stick a little bit above the curb stone there. And we are also going to put it 
in the middle. We just want to flip it around. There we go. So that you don't see the wood shining through the, uh, the actual stone pillars there. Right, and another group of wainscoting for the top, and you just want to make sure that it that little ledge on the wainscoting disappears into the ledge on the wall. And do that on all three sides. And we just go up on top and top it off with the stone curbs again. Alright, now we're going to do the two actual front doors, which are just in these two spots here. And the walls around. And some fancier walls up on top. And the first part of the build should look something like this. Alrighty, now I think I'm actually going to change these out for some windows, just to give it a little bit more interest. And put those two there. And then, let's see. I'm gonna put a wall there, 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 and there, skipping the middle, and then three more, and then do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to use the Medieval Extended Room B and put it in these two holes here and top off with the fancy walls all the way around. And right here we're going to put, with the snapping on, just four quarter walls like that. Now we're going to make the concession stand, which is just kind of a mirror on what, of what's on the other side, just smaller. So we're going to do snapping off, one, two, three, four, and stick it right there. And then in the middle, there we go. And then again with the wainscoting. And then again with the curbs. Then you can put like a little market stall in there to give it like a concession stand feeling. And now let's work on getting the actual theater area and then we'll come back here and, and do some decorating. Alright, so we're going to count out one, two, and on the third one, right in the middle, we are going to place down a floor but it is going to be sitting one above where the floor is normally and then not on the border but one across we will do that it should place that second one on the border like that which is perfect and then we are going to place another floor and do the same thing again. Right there. And then another floor. Which places that right there. Now we're going to put a staircase here. It should slide in right there almost perfectly. So now that we've got that, we're going to go ahead and put the plaster floors in with the snapping off. And we're just going to put them in right on the same level as that red tile here. I realized a little bit later that I screwed up the platforms for the audience area. There is supposed to be a space on the side, so you can actually not mess up like me and do that that way in the first place. And then with snapping off, also, we're going to put in these little quarter floors all the way across, except for where the stairs are. Now we put the next layer in, 
And then do the exact same thing as the top with the quarter floors as well. And you might have to actually take out the floors to actually get them to snap in. And with the stage, we are going to use the wainscoting again. And just go in all three of these spots. And if you had to take the floor out like I did, you can just put it right back in. And then we're going to put the stone curbs on top. And then for the stage floor, I am going to go ahead and use these medieval herringbone floors. And again, with snapping off, just going to slide them into where they go on both of these rows here for the actual stage. So now we have the stage set up and we can do the walls around. And for inside, the walls are going to be turned inwards. So whereas normally they'd be facing outside, as you can see here, they're already facing inward here, snapping on, and we're just going to rotate them around and have them face inward like that. And then the fancy walls, again, rotating them so that they're facing inward, so that the fancy walls are showing inside. And there we go. And there. And there as well. And then we're going to put some doors right there and there. And then now we can actually put down these little last floors that go here, here, and both spots there. So now the audience area is basically done. We do need to put a door in here. Uh, what you can do is turn the snapping off and place the door right there. And then you don't have to uh, actually put a door in here um, because it is kind of a pain in the butt <laughs> to get it to stay slightly lower than the floor. But now we're going to put the walls here. That floor there. And these walls will go normal like outside. So we've got three walls here. We're going to leave these two spots blank. Three walls here. Leave that spot and that spot blank. And then the three walls here. And then again with the fancy walls on top. All the way across. And then in those empty spots, we're going to fill it with the Medieval Extended Room D on these two corners here. And now we are just going to place the walls for the stage, which are going to be facing just like this. So the normal way, the facing outward. Inside this back area, we are going to put two sets of stairs going up on this side and on the other side. With the stairs, they don't actually place if there's a floor, but they will place when the floor is removed. So if you're having problems with stairs, just remove the floor that's underneath it and it should work. And now the stage features themselves. Since there's no real curtains or anything, if you use these iron pillars and set them up against the wall, they give the impression of a curtain or a more like industrial set kind of feel. You place the first one down on the floor, with snapping on, just place that, place two roof tiles above it, and then snap it in right on top, remove the floor, and they should fit perfectly. And for the top part, you turn snapping off and use these iron walls going up until they turn blue. And that shouldn't have happened. I will fix that in a second and go all the way across. Let's fix that pillar here. Then you've got a nice kind of framed feature that frames out the stage. And you can go ahead and put all the rest of the roofs in here so that the whole area is roofed off. 
Now, for the area above this little ticket stand, you do have to turn the snapping off and place the floor down manually. And then to get these places filled in, you're going to have to actually glitch them in manually. And it is a huge pain in the butt to get them to actually snap in there. But you can do it. <laughs> it just takes a little bit more of an effort and a few more mistakes than a normal item glitching. And then that last floor is just glitched in from above. And then the whole roof is done. All right, so for this area, we're going to have a little bit of a balcony. So if you turn snapping on with your transparent item frames, you're going to put one of these in each corner here. And you're going to place inside of them the stone short pillar A. And you're going to put it at 1.1 scale. Turned upside down. And then at a height of 0.3. And do that on both sides. Then with snapping on, you're going to put the stone curves down all the way ar around just one and two and three out so i'm going to stop at three depth here one two and three and then this is going to be like the backstage area or i guess the upper stage area where we're going to build a another room so first right in the middle here we're going to put that that door and then windows all the way around. And then above it, we are going to put that fancy wall again. And then top it off with just a plaster roof. Now we are going to do the same thing we did with the four corners this time instead of just the two. And fill those in same settings. So 1.1, upside down, and 0.3. And now the stone curves with the snapping on all the way around the entire roof. So with the snapping off, we're going to turn the wainscoting so that it's actually facing out. Once again, at the lowest point and place it all the way around the top of the roof and then top it off with the stone curb. And we're going to do the same for the little patio area below. And with that complete, the building on the outside should look something like this. So let's finish off the rest of the build here by putting these windows in. We're going to hit R and face them in on both sides of the stage here and then glitch them in just behind these these uh, steel walls and then top them off with the fancy walls also facing inward now down here in the stage area now that it's all nice and finished we can go ahead and start putting in the seating I actually love these uh, little blue chairs for this. Just turn them around and place one row of them here. And then, oops, too close. The next row of them slightly off from the others. And same thing all the way down across and in every single spot on the little tiered areas here. And then in the back here, we are going to put this little balcony. And we're going to turn the snapping off, turn it all the way around and place it right so that that little border on the wall comes through on each wall in the back. And 
And then for above these doors, I'm going to use one of these transparent item stands and place an oriental style stool. And then we're going to move it to be 90 degrees on the y-axis so that it is turned this way. And then we're going to move it up to the height of the door frame, which is all the way up at the top. And do that on both sides. Y-axis of 90. And all the way up. And it gives like a little curtain -y like look. I don't know. And then it's just a matter of decorating as you want, putting little pieces in to just add some detail and doing some landscaping to make this look really neat. The whole idea of these videos is really just to show you what's possible and, you know, show you different ways of doing things and different ways of using items that maybe weren't intended and just hopefully to spur a little bit of creativity. I'd absolutely love to hear about or see your builds that you've done. And you can actually join us in our Discord. There's a link below. So we'd love to have you join our community. Well, that's about everything that there is to this build. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe. And have a great day.